When it comes to calling someone from your iPhone, you could make a boring old phone call. But it's 2020 and it's way more fun to place a video call where you can actually see the person you're talking to. Of course, unlike voice calls, calling someone with FaceTime uses your mobile data if you aren't on a Wi-Fi network. If you're looking to manage your data usage throughout a billing month, it's important to know how to check your FaceTime data usage on your iPhone. First up, dive into your iPhone's settings menu, then tap on the cellular option from your phone listings. This menu is where you can view your data plan for your cellular device, as well as the amount of data used by every app on your phone during your billing period. Scroll through your list of apps until you reach FaceTime, then look for the data usage underneath the app title. If you want to cut FaceTime off from your data plan completely, flip the switch next to the app listing to stop it from working over your cell network. Once the switch is off, you'll need to be on a Wi-Fi network for data to work properly. It's also worth noting that, by default, your iPhone doesn't automatically reset your data counts unless you've synced your cellular plan with your phone. So the data listing you see here may represent the lifespan of your phone if you don't regularly reset your data usage. You can start resetting your data usage by scrolling all the way to the bottom of this menu and selecting Reset Statistics. If you're curious about how much data a single FaceTime call used, you'll need to head to your call log to figure that out. iOS combines all of your phone calls into a single call log regardless of app, so head to your phone app and tap on the call log to get started. Find the FaceTime call you want to check data usage on, then click the small information icon to the right of the call. Underneath the date and time of the call placement, you'll find information on how long the call lasted and how many megabytes or gigabytes of data were used. Unfortunately, there's no way to control or restrict the amount of data used by FaceTime by lowering the quality of a call. So if you're watching your data usage, the best way to save data is to make sure you call on Wi-Fi only. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering iOS and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy. Thank you.